These are my two uh, APM 100 degrees field of view uh, wide angle, ultra wide angle eyepieces. One of them is 13 millimeter, very good for sp spacewalk experience. This one is 20 millimeter one, which is very good if you have a non-tracked, non-tracking, uh, unguided telescope, which you need notch, tap it every time to keep the target in the field of view. With this wide angle, you don't need to do it as much, especially when you use planetary lower uh, uh, lower f numbers, lower focal lengths, and uh, high powers. That's really really helpful. These are to me teleview killers. Teleview for me is pluses of teleview. When you have the pluses of teleview, you have all of them practically. They are the pluses of teleview are excellent. I have a few of them. And I'm really happy they're the standard on that. The others, field of view, everybody makes the same. These ones are almost a, yeah, win, this one is one fourth of the Teleview Ethos 21 millimeter, and this one is around one uh, third of the price. Quality is comparable to them, excellent. So I recommend these two. I will show you the how I received them can watch the unboxing of them. I have done some videos observing with them and uh, general observations with them. They're really good. You will not miss uh, anything if you use these two. The, across the field of view, the sharp stars, point-like stars, uh, very comfortable to the eye. It removes the stress from, from your eye. You don't need to spend that much. It's the experience of many experienced observers, respected observers. And I will now open and just show. Okay, this is the 20 millimeter one, and this is the 13 millimeter one. Both of them are really good. This is only a two inch one. This is two inch and one and a quarter inch, so you can use in both types of the focuses. They're both excellent. And uh, yeah, we'll watch the rest of my video. These are the lenses. Because of the recess of the lens, practically it has longer eye relief. So very good for if you if you have to use the glasses when you're observing. That's up to you, but really better than the Explore Scientific. Um, this is unboxing of a 100 degrees eyepiece. Is the APM 13 millimeter, which is more versatile than. Uh, other uh, length so i'm just going to have this now okay n now i have uh, opened the box oh what is this universe to go is it advert or brochure hmm. that's a virtual reality guys interesting anyway nothing to do with like this uh, uh, bubble this must be the package what is inside nothing else just a box okay Put the box away, the adverts go in the box, and this is the eyepiece. I try to open the eyepiece. The box is quite large, like a really big, uh, yeah, big tablet. What is written on it? APM Ocular HDC XWA 13 mm 100 degrees 2 inch and 1 and a quarter inch. Uh, uh, in this, well, this variety has actually hydro hydrogen nitrogen purged. Uh, that means that it uh, it will not let the moisture or fungus go inside or dust go inside. So this is the eyepiece. This is a cap. This is a cleaning tissue. And oh, it's heavy. Very well packed. Premium packaging. Ooh, 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 what's big? Ooh, uh, this is massive. This is a big eyepiece. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, I wanted to buy Myriad 20mm, which has a really massive eye cup. Uh, probably this size it should have been. And I thought that is big. 
This is the smallest and lightest. That one is a double, more than double the weight of this. This is around one pound in weight. It is massive. I feel everything is metal. Oh, very hard plastic. Oh, look at the eye crop. And it is connected to the two inch uh, adapter, but you can remove that. I suppose. It has a two inch uh, uh, cover, but when you remove that, I suppose, you remove that. You can put uh, one inch, one and a quarter inch cover also, so that makes it smaller. This is practically a gimmick, I say that, but is a is this type is practically one and a quarter eyepiece. Well, it gives you 100 degrees, like any other eyepiece, which has a is even Teleview Ethos has such a thing. And they say in the website also that this is like that. Teleview also sells that. So this is just for adapting it to a two inch adapter which is more sturdy and can handle heavier weights. Very easy to handle and uh, fix. The eyepiece looks nice. The eye lens is here. Let me read what is written on this. APM Telescopes Germany HDC 13 millimeter 100 degrees. It's quite chunky. My Skywatcher ED80 telescope, Pro, Pro Series, series uh, and a Skywatcher Heritage World Vichoso mount, Dapsonian mount. And I'm going now to put the uh, APM 100 degrees and 30 millimeter high nitrogen purged eyepiece into the 2 inch adapter and Okay, the head side I have to adjust it a little bit, it's heavy at the moment, so I just adjust it then I will show the view. Okay, now we are going to look through the eyepiece. As you can see, the image quality is very clear, it takes the whole field of view of this camera and that means I'm not looking through a straw like the way you look in the plus or any other eyepiece very good pleased with the result colors are good reproduction of the colors slight yellowing or reddening at the margins of the image you can see but when I put position the eye or eye uh, camera in this case in the correct position, that disappears. I heard that um, uh, this is uh, happening with also some of the Skywatch was even the uh, Ethos Teleview Ethos had such a problem. So this is inheritance of the design 100 degree eyepieces. So now I've tested the eyepiece. I can say that it's comfortable to look. Our position can be sometimes critical. There is some yellowing at the corners of the image, which exists in seems in all the 100 degrees. Am I happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy. This is a good eyepiece. It has a very wide view, angle of viewing. Although it is 13 millimeter, you saw how wide angle, wide angle view has. And I will continue to use this. I'm gonna get 20 millimeter of this also if I can. And uh, I will test it in the under the dark sky also. At the moment it's daylight, so I'm looking at the daylight objects. Now I'm using with the without the two inch uh, adapter, just a one inch. The experience in both cases were very immersive. The only thing is that this is a little bit lower the total length when I removed the adapter. And uh, I can say it's really nice. It's very immersive, actually. You feel that you're close to the object. You are there. 
at the same time um, I feel that um, my eye has less strain at the moment I have a headache I started the day with a headache but when I look through the disciples surprise surprise I don't have feel the headache there is no stress on my eyes the muscles of my eyes where I feel the headache and I don't feel it when I'm looking through this I wish they made glasses like that for my <laughs> viewing. Just to every day not have any headache. I don't use glasses, but that's how it is. This is nice for headache. Headache remedy. Eyepiece as a headache remedy. The kind of comfort I was feeling when I was using this eyepiece was similar to when I was using the Skywatcher Nirvana 60mm eyepiece. I've got a second pair of that for using as a in a binary viewer. And I'm going to make a video on that later, God willing. But uh, I must say that these wide angle eyepieces, I have several of them, especially the Max Vision 24 degrees, 82 degrees eyepiece, are very comfortable for eye. Very, very much comfortable. Okay, this is unboxing of a APM 100 degree 20 millimeter eyepiece. Let's open and see. Okay, now I have opened it. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh what is that? Oh, a little Haribo! They put something there for me. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Very nice gesture. Okay, but what is important is the ice. I'm going to remove it. Mm. That is the eyepiece. Oh, let me see. How can I remove the plastic bag? Let me just bring it out of the box. Mm -hmm. I'll put away the box, there is nothing else in it. So what we have here is a APM ocular, which means eyepiece HDC XWA, extreme wide angle. 20 millimeter, 100 degree, 2, I two inches. So that's the moment of the truth. Uh, I have to open it by hand. Okay, the lead is open. Oh, a cleaning cloth. Uh, this is the piece. Let me extract it. I received one which looked refurbished or used. And I sent it back and they hopefully have sent me a new one because I paid for a new one. It was not advertised as refurbished. So let's see what is this one. Okay, that other one had... Uh, I may just add that one at the end of this video. But look, this is new. You can see. I'm going to open the end cap also. Yes. This is new clean. I can see that. This is a challenging time and I know people are worried. Not just about their health, but about their livelihood. That's why we're doing everything we can, as quickly as we can, to protect your economic security. So if you or your business is struggling, please go to gov.com. Okay, interesting. Beautiful eyepiece, and I'm going to test it now with the. This is brilliant uh, eyepiece. Look at it, the sheer size of it, and also the weight is not as heavy as the Ethers, and uh, also not as heavy as the Myriad. It's got Myriad. So I'm looking forward to it. 
Okay, this is a very impressive eyepiece, quite chunky, not heavy, around 400 grams. Not as heavy as the Teleview Ethos and uh, or Scar Watcher and Myriad, which have a 21 millimeter one. Quite suited for using with any telescope. And I'm looking forward to use it. Beautiful. Okay, I have placed now the eyepiece in the telescope and I'm going to show you how it looks. The view through this 20 millimeter 100 degree eyepiece. See the wide angle. This is the Sky Watcher ED80, and I'm using the uh, Panaview 38 mm 70 degrees eyepiece. And I can say that around the 90% uh, to the edge of the field, uh, a little bit astigmatism creeps into the image. And this is a very good eyepiece, I'm telling you. This is one of my best eyepieces. Uh, the only one who can beat this, or even equal it, not beat it, even beat, is a max vision 40 millimeter, 68 degrees. Now, but this HMC, uh, sorry, AMP HDC 100 degrees, 20 millimeter eyepiece. First, no astigmatism right to the edge. The field of view is a slightly similar, is similar or slightly smaller than this. This is 70 degrees, 38 millimeter, which is really low power. And this is 20 millimeter, so completely different. Uh, but although it, it is 20 millimeter, the field of view of 100 degrees is almost equal to the field of view of this 38 millimeter, 70 degrees. So. But the image sharpness in this one is really, really good, really controlled everything. And I'm impressed. Well, what is the difference? First, it is easier to use because it has a tapered conical uh, eyesight uh, eye cup. This one is really wide. Of course, I enjoy that. This one is tapered, so it's a big difference. Second is that when you look into it, it's like a window to a space. It's no eyepiece there. You don't see the eyepiece. It's a window to the space when you position your eye correctly. And that gives you a spacewalk experience, especially I've noticed in the 13 millimeter of this. I have several occasions this happened to me. It gets really, you are in the middle of this space, even doesn't exist, the window doesn't exist. You are in this space. Can be ex a bit scary or a lot of scary when you see the right target with several relatively uh, bright stars in the field of view. You feel that those nuclear synthesis 
cores in the middle of this space, which we call the stars, are actually in front of you. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a scary experience. But we have seen that. And this one gives you such experience also. Um, another thing, uh, comparison between the Panaview 38mm and the uh, APM 20mm, 100 degrees, that with this one, you look at the whatever the star is there, you see the star as it is in front of you. You don't need to do anything, just in front of you. With this one, you can roll your eye to the corner, this corner, see more. Roll your eye to this corner, see more. It's like you are in the middle of the space, looking at a big, big scene, but just turning your eye around, and you see more every time you do this. Or a space window, something like that, that you see more by looking around. This is different. This is an experience you never see with uh, anything like that. With this one, you're looking through a hole, that's it. This and this eyepiece, interestingly, are parafocal. You don't need to change the focus when you switch from pan of view to the APM. There is no need to switch the to change the focus. The, the fall in focus exactly when you just switch the eyepiece. Okay, uh, I was looking at the 27, 28 and 30 uh, low minoris uh, stars. It's a beautiful asterism in the shape of a Roughly, I can say, the shape of a square, but one corner instead of one star has two stars, bread stars. Beautiful, beautiful, very visible, very easy to see. And not far from the Orsa Major. And that's nice. Uh, beautiful asterism. Yeah, funny enough, these two are not parafocal. This is 30mm APM and this is 20mm. 20mm is parafocal with the pan of view. Uh, <laughs> 38mm one and but not parafocal with its own class 30mm and yeah which one I like more this has a wider angle view this is a little bit lower angle view uh, I mean the size of the field of view you can see they're different which one I will use more? Probably I will use this more. But that is nice for, you know, clear view of, of everything. Can use it as a finder also. I may go for a lower uh, focal length one of, of one of these. And that will be nice for planetary view takes a longer time to you know drift in the image and you have them when you use the Dobsonia something like which is not tracked <laughs> 